These large dozers take power from an 1150 horsepower or 860 kilowatt engine and weigh at around 157 tons in its super dozer version. The machine itself is stunning as it is 16 feet tall, 41 feet long and built with a 24 foot wide dozer blade. It is massive and capable of handling 125 cubic yards of material in one pass. Clearly, it'll move any amount of material needed. Today's industries are looking to streamline transport assignments and make them more sustainable. Therefore, considering self-driving vehicles is not a bad idea. That is why Scania is working on a cabless autonomous concept truck, requiring no driver at all. However, this isn't an electric truck. It actually has an internal combustion engine, but Scania is working on its renewable biofuel-powered variants. The modern ETF haul truck is capable of dragging four times more rocks than the typical giant yellow monstrous mining trucks. It is able to carry up to 400 tons in a single load. The truck is also even more robust thanks to the central tire inflation system. The machine always controls and adjusts each wheel's height to counteract road bumps. If the tire unexpectedly deflates, the machine will instantly warn the driver and raise the wheel to allow the driver to continue driving. the Liber LR13000. This is the world's most powerful crawler crane, offering a lifting capacity of 3300 US tons and a maximum hoisting height of 774 feet. Liber created it for heavyweight lifting operations. It has been used to put up more than 1500 pounds of heavy structures, such as power plant units, refinery structures, and industrial columns. It is also the only crane in its class that can be used without a derrick ballast. Winches with single drives provide fail-proof operation. In case of failure, a drive can be changed under load. Moreover, despite its massive size, the gigantic crane can be delivered at a minimal cost all over the globe. Also, it uses concrete ballast units that look like 20-inch containers and are easy and cheap to move. Up next, we have the Bucyrus Erie 257, aka Big King. This huge walking drag line has been operational since 1978. In terms of size, it stands 220 feet high, which is taller than a 20-story building and can operate in a radius of 300 feet, equal to the length of an American football field. The weight of this drag line is 10.4 million pounds 
and it features a 310-foot-long boom equipped with a 100-cubic-yard bucket. It has an over-under fairlead system that helps keep dirt out of the machinery house and makes the drag rope last longer. Unlike conventional walking drag lines, it was built in module sections, thus not requiring any welding to assemble, meaning its assembly takes only a few weeks, while others need months. Next, we have the 4800 XPC Komatsu. This ultra-class electric rope shovel was built for challenging environments. With its 92 cubic yard dipper, the shovel can fill a large dumper in just three passes. Its adaptive controls are designed to increase output while reducing boom jacking by up to 50%. It has a dynamic crowd design system that ensures fine motion control and high crowd forces to enhance penetration and reduce abrasive damage. To prevent a collision between the dipper and the tracks, its shield system monitors the dipper's movement and mitigates damage as necessary. If you've been enjoying these giants so far, don't worry, there's even bigger ones coming up. the Bucyrus RH400 Terex Owen K RH400. You're now looking at the second largest hydraulic excavator in the world, which is 980 tons in weight. The first name of this behemoth was Terex RH400. It was introduced in Germany in 1997. However, Terex sold its mining business to Bucyrus in 2010, and the model's identity has changed to the Bucyrus RH400. The excavator can collect around 9,900 tons of material every hour, establishing a new world record for a hydraulic mining excavator. It features a phase shovel bucket capacity of 65 cubic yards, which can handle 85 tons of material in a single scoop and load any mining truck in just 3 to 5 passes. The RH400 draws power with twin engines that generate a combined power of 4,500 horsepower. It takes six vehicle batteries to just start the engines, with which this mighty excavator can travel at a top speed of 2.2 kilometers an hour. That's just about 1.4 miles an hour. Belaz is a Belarusian-based company known for producing large dump trucks. In fact, the world's largest dump truck belongs to this company, which is the Belaz 75710. It weighs 360 tons and has a payload capacity of 496 tons. According to estimates, the price of this truck is somewhere between 6 and 7.5 million USD. Belaz has introduced several models and series of such mining trucks, but all of them can be categorized into two types based on their transmission technology. The hydromechanical transmission uses fluid with a pump to run the wheel while the electromechanical transmission consists of electric motors that drive the truck.
the Bagger 293. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, this is the world's largest land-based vehicle, coming in at 315 feet tall, 740 feet long, and weighing over 31 million pounds. It was built in 1995 in Germany for mining operations. The Bagger 293 excavates using a massive 70-foot spinning wheel at the end of a long arm. This wheel is equipped with a series of buckets that, as the wheel turns, scoop up soil and deposit it onto a conveyor belt. The conveyor belt then loads the dirt into the dump trucks. Being the largest bucket excavator of its kind, the Bagger 293 can excavate a football-sized hole 80 meters deep in a day. In simple words, it can dig 8.5 million cubic feet per day and requires a crew of five to operate. Next, we have the Famer Road Header. This machine can cut through rocky terrain to produce tunnels for mining or other uses. It features a spinning cutting drum and a conveyor belt to remove the excavated material. Famer is a European company that manufactures multiple road header variants with varying technological features and benefits. Some of their models can handle extremely hard rocks with compressive strengths of up to 95 megapascals. These are simple to use, maintain, and transport. In addition, they include safety features and display control systems. These are used in work sites like mines, quarries, and landfills where rock cutting is necessary. Next, we have the Joymat SX. This machine is designed to extract coal from a long wall face. Kamatsu, a multinational producer of mining equipment, has manufactured it. The machine meets Tier 2 emission requirements and has a cutting height range of 1.5 to 4.5 meters. It weighs around 52 to 82 tons and offers a haulage pull capacity of 1,000 kilonewtons. Advanced automation, an ergonomic display control system, a modular design, and simple maintenance are some of its features. In addition, it has a high rate of production and operational dependability. The Joymat S6 shearer is ideal for underground coal mining environments. Last but certainly not least, we have the Slag Torres from Technikura. The German company manufactures different transport systems for metallurgical and rail sectors. The Slag Torres can carry 50 tons of molten slag from a blast furnace to a disposal location. It has articulated steering and a safety system that prevents overturning. There are also two design possibilities available, a platform or a U-frame. 
the minimal total width of the platform makes it suitable for small highways. The U-frame design provides excellent vision and short hydraulic lift, making it suitable for broad roadways and low pickup heights. It is equipped with a Caterpillar engine and gearbox. It is robust and reliable, with standing high temperatures and harsh conditions. The Remax 200. It is a track-mounted impact crusher. Impact crushers use a rotating rotor to crush materials on a fixed surface, resulting in fragmentation. The Remax 200 provides exceptional performance and efficiency in applications involving recycling. It features a diesel-electric powertrain system that decreases pollution and fuel consumption. It also has a disposal chute underneath the impact crusher which is crucial for dealing with construction and demolition debris. The Remax 200 has an intake hole of 25.6 by 37.4 inches and weighs 60,627 pounds. It has a throughput capacity of about 275 tons per hour. Next, we have the CAT HW300. It is a high-wall mining system that allows for both underground and surface mining. Depending on the seam height, it is capable of producing 44,000 to 121,000 tons of coal each month. The system comprises an underground-driven, unmanned cutter module that operates in front of the high wall. The cutter module is driven into the seam by a series of push beams, which also convey the extracted coal back to the entrance of the drive and onto a stack. The system has a comfortable climate-controlled pressurized cab that provides a comprehensive view of the mining activity and the high wall. As the coal seam fluctuates, the operator can manually adjust the machine function using an ampere measurement. Next, we have the Gunther & Zimmermann 7300. 
This trenching machine is designed to dig and create canals for irrigation or drainage. It features a large toothed metal wheel that revolves and cuts the earth into a trapezoidal shape. The dirt is subsequently transferred to the other bank of the canal by use of a conveyor belt. The machine can modify the canal's size and depth in response to the slope. It is powered by a diesel engine that complies with environmental regulations. The machine's tracks and leveling mechanism enable it to traverse uneven terrain. It has been built by a California-based company, Gunther & Zimmerman, and weighs around 95,000 pounds. Next is the Christoffel Fines Master Wash Plant. It is a fluid cleaning system capable of removing fine particles from sand and aggregates. It can process up to 120 tons of cleaned and dewatered material each hour. The wash plant includes a cyclone, dewatering screen, sump tank, and slurry pump. The cyclone separates particles from liquids and directs them to the dewatering screen. The screen eliminates excess moisture and generates a dry product. It also has an integrated control panel for operators to modify the water flow, pressure, and speed. In short, the wash plant is portable, compact, and simple to install and operate. the Christoffel AgWash. This modular washing system was built by a German company, C. Christoffel GmbH. It is capable of producing up to two classes of sand and removing clays, silt, and slimes from the feed material. The material is loaded into a feed hopper and then transported to a log washer, where it is washed to remove clays and other impurities. After passing through a rinsing screen, the material is cleaned and divided into various size fractions. Coarse aggregates are released onto a stockpile conveyor, while fine aggregates are bumped to a hydrocyclone machine for further classification into sand grades. The sand is then dehydrated using a high-frequency screen and stacked using radial conveyors.
Well, there you have it. We hope you enjoyed learning about these great machines. If you did, consider subscribing. We've got plenty of more machines that you can learn about. Just click here. And with that, we'll see you next time. Bye.